once again, it's my great pleasure to welcome President Wadada, His Excellency, to Australia. And this is my understanding he's brought visit to Australia. And his first visit to our national capital. And uh, with the incredibly visionary decision he has uh, made regarding the establishment of a new capital for Indonesia, um, I'm sure he'll be taking a few photos around the capital and maybe going back to some of uh, the design ideas of Walter Bellie Griffin. But it is wonderful to have you, Your Excellency. Uh, on behalf of the Australian people, I also want to thank you and all the people in Indonesia for your very kind expressions of support over this very difficult black summer that we've had in Australia over the bushfires. Uh, your personal support, uh, the provision of practical assistance to uh, Indonesian personnel who are today, I'm advised, actually assisting with floods. The fires, the floods over the course of this summer, and Indonesia is standing there right with us as always, and we thank you very, very, very much. I also want to thank you for taking up our invitation uh, to be here when I joined you for your inauguration. I congratulate you on that again, and I'm so pleased that we've been able to come here today uh, as we are realising so many aspects of our shared vision uh, for the Indo Pacific. I want to commend you for the leadership that you've shown in first capturing that Indo-Pacific vision and championing that vision uh, throughout ASEAN and throughout the Indo-Pacific region. And Australia is very much a fellow traveller uh, when it comes to our shared outlook on the Indo-Pacific region and seeing its potential, its economic potential, its people-to-people -people potential, the breaking down of the barriers that exist across our wonderful region, and the strategic and defence and security cooperation and dealing with the many significant environmental and climate challenges that we have and we share and the wonderful oceans of which we have responsibility in our respective nations and throughout the region. Uh, you come here today having secured uh, parliamentary support uh, for the IA of Chiba and uh, as has already been occurred, uh, uh, has been passed here in Australia through our parliament. And later today um, you will be addressing our parliament and we look forward to that very much. Um, and this honour has been given to a small number of global leaders and I'm so pleased that we've been numbered amongst those in our own of you and having them here today. Today we have discussed many issues as part of our growing partnership, our growing agenda between our two nations. A 100 day action the implementation of AOC. We have received this agreement as it comes into effect, ramped up and momentum established at all levels. Uh, a mutually beneficial arrangement, one that sees the integration of our economies for the strong growth that we will see over the next decade and beyond. Indonesia will be one of the star economies of the world over the next 10 or 20 years. And this arrangement, this mutually beneficial arrangement, um, will ensure that our economies are linked for this exciting period of growth in the years ahead. Today we have agreed to include new elements as part of this implementation. We are pleased that the, our Home Affairs Minister here in Australia will be engaging with his Indonesian counterpart to proceed uh, to look at how we can simplify and streamline the issues of entry into Australia. Uh, we all also agreed to reconsider and look at the issues of travel advice in Indonesia, uh, particularly for those areas most frequented by Australian visitors. Indonesia is a very large country with a very large population and uh, we need to ensure that we have this flexibility that respects and understands that and we thank the President and his Ministers for raising these issues with us. We have also agreed to establish an energy dialogue between Australia and Indonesia. We have much to share, uh, both in understanding of the challenges and as Indonesia is going through an accelerated development path, how we can ensure that the fuel sources of the future are very much part of Indonesia's development and of Australia's. And we'll be working together on science and research and technology and uh, sharing our view of the future energy sources for both of our countries. And we look forward to that, uh, that partnership for energy in, in Australia and Indonesia, but how that might more broadly lead our region. Monash University will be establishing the first foreign campus in Indonesia under this agreement and that is a very good example of how this is a two-way street. 
not only that, but the Treasury today uh, reinforced the opportunity for Australian pension funds and superannuation funds to be looking at the opportunities that exist in Indonesia, as they do in many other countries around the world. And we see that investment partnership, a key part of how the IAC will be realised. On the issues of the uh, strategic security in our region, Indonesia is a leader and a wonderful partner to Australia. Whether it's in maritime cooperation or working together on international peacekeeping, which we will now be seeking to do, this is just a further layer in what is already a very, very deep relationship. And when it comes to the South China Sea, we share our commitment to sovereignty, stability and respect for the rule of international law. We have also discussed today the many challenges around uh, uh, the uh, counter-terrorism, uh, foreign terrorist fighters and counter-foreign influence. These are all issues we work closely together on and have long-standing partnerships and share expertise and share it with the world. And finally, we had the opportunity to talk through issues of the coronavirus and the measures we are taking in concert and the information we're sharing to, to contain the impact of the coronavirus in Indonesia and Australia. And we will continue to work closely with our medical advisors and the other arrangements that we have to ensure that we can both effectively carry out our responsibilities to our peoples to keep uh, the health and well-being of our peoples uh, in the highest possible order. And so, as you can see, it has been a very wide-ranging conversation today, a very wide-ranging discussion. Um, it wasn't all, um, all these serious issues. Yesterday, the President and I were able to join the Governor-General um, on a route tour of Yarralumba as we drove around the ground. And um, the most senior ranking tourism official in the country, the Governor-General, gave us a very uh, kind driving tour. Um, but these are the things where we have had the opportunity at a private dinner last night and also in our one-on-one -on -one meetings this morning to further develop the relationship. I want to thank President Wadado for his personal friendship, his kind of cards, um, most recently in terms of the passing of my father and his uh, personal commitment to this relationship and his personal commitment to the many issues that we've discussed uh, today and his good hearing on those very sensitive issues I want to thank him very much for. And with that, I'll pass on to His Excellency to make some statements and after that we'll be departing uh, because the President will be joining us in the uh, House of Representatives chamber uh, for his most important address. Kunjungan saya kali ini menandai era baru hubungan Indonesia dan Australia dan rencana aksi pelaksanaan kemitraan strategis komprehensif untuk tahun 2020 dan 2024 telah selesai. Ini berarti bahwa dalam lima tahun ke depan kerjasama bilateral kita akan lebih baik dan lebih terarah. Ratifikasi perjanjian Indonesia-Australia Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement atau IACPA telah selesai di antara kedua negara, yang berarti ke depan hubungan ekonomi kedua negara secara komprehensif akan lebih maju dan harus lebih dirasakan manfaatnya oleh rakyat kedua negara. Indonesia mendorong agar program 100 hari implementasi dari IACPA dapat dilakukan antara lain pelaksanaan Australia Business Week yang dipimpin oleh Menteri Perdagangan Australia di Indonesia juga kunjungan sejumlah major private investor Australia ke Indonesia, dan juga kerjasama untuk pendanaan proyek-proyek infrastruktur di Indonesia, juga kerjasama di bidang pendidikan dan rangka pengembangan sumber daya manusia tadi sudah disampaikan oleh uh, Perdana Menteri Scott Morrison mengenai akan dibukanya Monash University di Indonesia. Dan melalui IACPA ini, Indonesia mengharap agar Australia dapat menjadi mitra penting antara lain di bidang investasi untuk infrastruktur dan juga di bidang pendidikan. Di luar IACPA, kita juga membahas kemitraan kedua negara dalam konteks Indo-Pasifik. Kita mengharapkan bahwa stabilitas, perdamaian, kesejahteraan, secara merata dapat terus tercipta dan terjaga di kawasan Indo-Pasifik. Kita juga sepakat untuk bersama-sama meningkatkan kerjasama di Pasifik Selatan dengan fokus antara lain pada isu 
ocean dan perubahan iklim. Saya rasa itu yang bisa saya sampaikan. Terima kasih. Thank you all very much.